Now the first note you want to play is the um, the G string on the fifth fret, and you bend that up, and you give a slight bit of vibrato at the, at the top. So you go, okay. Now then, what you do is you bar the third fret of the E string, the high E string, and the B string, okay. So, and then you play the E and then the B, Just like that, okay. Now then, bring your little finger over to the sixth fret of the B string, so you play. Okay. Now you bring your third third finger to the fifth fret of the G string, and you bend it slightly. You bend it up just a uh, semitone, and you release again, just like that. Okay. Now on to the third of the G string, and the fifth of the D string. So what you have so far is. Now the next note you bring your uh, middle finger over to the 5th fret of the A string, okay. Now you, um, you, 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 you change position and you move your 3rd finger to the 3rd fret of the um, D string and then you slide up to the 5th fret of the D string, just like that, okay. Now put your first finger, play your 1st finger on the 3rd fret of the D string, so you're playing like that. Now bring your third finger to the seventh fret of the A string, and then your first finger to the third fret of the A string. So you have okay. Now the next part, actually move down, change your position, and move down to the first fret of the A string. So what you have here is. Now you bring your third finger to the third fret of the E string. Okay. Okay, so from the start, what we have is. Okay. Now the next bit, what you do is you bar the um, third fret of the G string and the B string together, and you give it a slight bend. Just like that, and you release. Okay, and then bring your third finger across to the fifth fret of the D string, and you play the, you play that note twice. So you play. Okay, and then you play. Um, you leave your first finger in the same position as it was, and you play um, those two strings, and you play the G and the B string. Like that, and you give it a slight bend again. Now the next section of this solo is where he slides up. He slides up up the board. So he, um, you get your third finger and you place it on the fifth fret of the G string, and you slide up to the seventh fret of the G string. Okay, so like that. And now you bring your middle finger to the, um, the eighth, the sixth fret of the B string. So you're getting. Okay, you play that note twice then, okay, so you play. Now you do exactly the same thing as that, except you move up two frets. To the ninth and the eighth. Okay, so you've got... Okay. Now you play the G and then the B string. One note at a time. Okay. Now you bring your third finger, and using your supporting two fingers, and... Um, Bend on the tenth fret, bend up on the tenth fret, and you bend. Okay, and then you bring your pinky finger onto the tenth fret of the E string, so you're bending, and then you bend the tenth fret of the B string again, and you release. Okay, so you go on. Now, what you do there is you um, play the and the 8th fret of the B string. Okay, so for, for the second section, what we have so far is... Okay. Now what you do is you move to the 11th fret of the B string, and you, and you, and you bend up, and then release it again. Okay, and you, you pick that release note. 
Okay, then you go down to the eighth fret of the B string. We can play it with your first finger and move your second finger onto the ninth fret of the G string. Okay, and then play the eighth fret of the B string again. So you're playing. Okay. Now what you do here is you what you do is you slide up, just slide up to you slide up the board to the fifteenth fret, okay? And you hold that note, okay? Um no, I'm not gonna be strict as to where you slide up from. It's up to you if you want to slide from the twelfth fret, or if you want to slide from lower down, it's up to you. Um but anyway you sustain that note. So you play and give it a bit of vibrato. Okay, so you sustain that, and then what you do is you bar the 15th fret of the E string and the B string. And then you play the 18th fret of the um, B string. And then you bring, it to, bring your third finger onto the 17th fret of the G string, and you bend up and release. Now the 15th of the G string and the 17th of the D string. Okay. So you got. Now what you do there is you bring your third finger onto the um, the, the the 17th fret of the G string and the B string. And you let off to the um, playing with your first finger on the 15th fret of the G of the G string. Okay, so you got. You play the 17th fret of the G and you bend up and you bring your pinky onto the 18th fret of the B. Okay, just like that. Okay, so you got. That's the 17th of the G. Okay. 15th of the G, 17th of the D. Now bar them two again with your third finger. Okay. That's the G string and the B string on the 17th fret. Okay. 15th of the G. And that's the 15th of the G. That's the 15th. Sorry, the 17th of the D back up to the 15th of the G. Now the next bit you do is this bend up here and you go to the 18th fret of the E string, bend up, then bend up again on the 17th of the D, of the E, sorry. So you play and then you pull off there to the 15th of the E string. Then you play the um, 18th of the E again. Now I play with my third finger. Probably should play play with your little finger, but um, it's no harm to play with your third finger. Um, now that note is the seventeenth fret of the um, B string. Now you move to the eighteenth of the B string. Now you're playing the 15th note, 15th fret of the um, E string, you're playing that twice while you're bending up the 18th fret of the B string. Now you release there just as you as you as you play off, let off. Okay. On the 15th of the B. Okay. Now you bend up and release the 17th fret of the G string. And play the 15th of the, the B string again. Now what you do, the next thing, the last part, is you play, you bring your third finger to the uh, seven, uh, sorry, the 15th fret of the B and you slide up to the 17th fret of the B. Okay. That's the, now you bring your first finger to the 15th fret of the E string, the high E string, the first string. And you play the second string again. First string, 
and then the last thing you do is you bend up and release the 17th fret of the high E string. And you, and you, and you um, pull off onto the 15th fret.